Hello, this is the first time I've done this, so uh, I'm going to be recording these commentaries after I've made the video, so I'm watching this back with you now. So, this is LEGO Stamp Ready, here's the opening video. Sorry about the choppy frame rate at the beginning and a slight audio desync that comes with it. Uh, my laptop ran a bit too slow when I opened up France. Um, I can't apologise for the crappiness of the quality of the video though, because that's actually what this game looks like. Yeah, most of the, uh, the full motion video does look like it was compressed using my anus. But anyway, let's get underway with the commentary. Well, I'll let you enjoy this awesome LEGO cutscene, actually. I love the cutscenes from the LEGO games, they're always quality, their animation work is fantastic. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what the game is like. Uh, if only the graphics of the game look this good. Well, apart from the pixelation, of course, but I mean... Yeah, it, it looks like a turd. But gameplay is reasonably fun. I've realised, going back and playing it now, that actually it's quite dumbed down. It is a kid's game, after all. So I'm thinking I should be able to complete it in a few episodes. I'm not planning on having them. Oh, there's the end of the cutscene. So I'm going to shut up now and let you enjoy the best bit of the game. Hello, and welcome to Stunt Rally. I'm Mr. X, the Hello, world champion and owner of Stunt Island. If you need help, move the hand pointer over something on the screen, then I'll tell you what it does. This voice actor is the best person in the world. Click here if you want to start a race. Click actually, here if you want to build a new track. I go through every single option on the screen just for you to see how awesome it this is. This is the game options button. It's probably best to get some help from some. I went in here because I you thought I might change it because it was running slowly at first. It's a good it's idea to get someone I'll over later to help on you with this bit. Playing. This is for changing the way your computer works, so it's not really for playing with. <laughs> Click on the top best left to get button an adult to go to back to the game. Let me shut my door. Click here if you want to start a race. I do want to start a race indeed. So okay, here's the menus, blah 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 blah. We're gonna click on championship click and play through the actual story mode. Stunt rally championship. Stunt rally championship. Anyway, so here's the map. He'll explain soon. Welcome to the Stunt Island map. map. This is where you choose your races in the Stunt Rally Championship. I don't even need to do a commentary for you this. You must win all of the races in the four different areas before you can race against me to become world champion. Him. To start your first race, X. just Mr. click on the flashing marker. So click here to select this race. We'll get in the way with the first race now. Um, I always play as a blue dude. Ah! And the blue dude makes less stupid noises. This is where you choose your character. Click on the blue race button if you are happy with the character and want to start. If you are happy with the character. Love the voice actor. Seriously. Click here to change Brilliant. your character. There are four to choose. There from. are four to choose from. So you've got the yellow dude, the green dude, the red dude. He's the <laughs> dumb one, as you can tell. And my favourite, the blue dude. Uh, I, I like blue. Just click to here. Okay, some random this screen glitching happens here that messes the cars car up just to ignore it. Click on the blue race button when you are happy with your car selection. Okay, so we'll rattle through the cars. Click here to choose a different car. Well, the cars you start with, you unlock more as you go along, which is great, actually. That's a nice feature. So, this is my car. Drag racer, of course. Click here to change In blue. the color. Bam. Car. That's it. Make the tires. Click here to change Medium. your car tires. And you can see that when you choose different tires, the car's top speed and grip indicators will change. Will change. Click here to let the computer choose a car for. No, thank you, computer. Let's Click play. here to continue. So before the race, you see the screen this with all the different players, who is all the computers. Press the big blue and race button. So in the first race, we only have one player. Which is uh, something hurts. Megahertz, that's it. Who is the worst guy in the game, as you can guess, from being in the first level. So, of course, I trounce him, unrefutedly. When I start the game off, I thought uh, the uh, sound effects were broken, because the dragster just sort of keeps looping, but then I remember there's actually only one sound effect in the game. Oh, apparently the video has come out really choppy at this point, when it was running at a solid 20 frames a second. There we go, it jumped and caught Oh, it's going laggy again. I hope it doesn't do this very much. So this is the game. 
Oh, I'll stop jumping, please. And this is just my laptop playing it back, actually, it could be that. I'm playing the Uncorrent State of the Eye file, which is about 3 gig. So, yeah, my laptop's probably chugging quite a bit. Okay, so three laps, whoever comes in first and three laps wins, if you can win, you progress to another level. So, not with this one, I can ask me to give you an idea of what the game is like and what's to come. There's the maps, as you can see, quite interesting. You can uh, make your own maps using pieces that you unlock during the game, which I think is rather interesting. Oh. So from that game I unlocked my opponent's Hello. car. And here we get to see the winning hey. animation. Hooray! Uh, I'm going to be skipping those from now on because they're all the same. Congratulations, you won a race. The boss ones. Click on the flashing marker to select the next race. So there's a boss for each zone. When you get to the end of the zone, you face the boss. Oh! Uh, this is the workshop where you choose I could change your my car, car here, but I choose not to. This is so we're playing we look at uh, Sandy something or the other now as well. So on a new map. You can see it's got a loop. Loops are the ultimate thing in this game because they are awesome. Don't miss the loop. I like these tunnels as well. They're nice. I might make my own map sometime and show you. I don't know. I have tried making a map in forever. So I am terrible at this game apparently because I keep going off the track. When it comes to chicanes and uh, really sharp turns like that, I tend to lose it. Because the game has a really heavy assist to steering and because that gives you less control over what you're actually doing when you're steering, it can kind of mess you up. Um, yeah, like on that corner it's pretty much impossible. Even when you're holding down to attempt to break, you still miss. And I love these boots, seriously they're the best thing in the game. Apart from the... Uh, Help voice from Mr. X, who of course is the best voice character in the world. Jump. And the thing is, as well, they like to put jumps before really sharp corners and jumps speed you up. I know that's weird going up, it should slow you down, but it, no, it speeds you up and shoots you over the top so you have a ridiculous amount of speed and can't do anything. Congratulations, you won So I win again, and you see here I unlock my opponent's car as well as a track piece, and the track piece I unlock. Oh, hello! Congratulations, you won the race. Skip and skip. On the flashing marker Let's get on the next race. the next race. I've won a race. Oh. <laughs> select the next this race. This is the workshop where you choose. Can't remember what this is where we I look think, at who is competing. Is this the one where I went through every single character and showed you that screen? <clears> I did. Yeah. So if you click on these question marks, it gives you a character click profile, here. kind of. This shows is you where their badge, who is uh, their sound effect, um, and various what? other things. And so you can view all of that stuff. This is where we look oh. at. Nice squeak there. <laughs> and it <laughs> really hurts before we start the race. Click here to continue. The worst bit about Megahertz is, is he doesn't even make a roboty noise, he just goes blah 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 blah. Yeah, I don't really understand that. I have planned this. No, I'll save that for a minute. Anyway, this track is nighttime. I like nighttime tracks. So I get knocked off the track straight away and I just start talking. Um, but I pull it back because it's not hard to, and the AI drive off the track almost more than you do. I get blocked in here, I have a boost, but the person in front of me also has a boost, so we're boosting into each other, and eventually his boost runs out, and then I'm just boosting into the back of him, and I can't do anything. Similarly, when you're boosting, you make that stupid owing noise, which is kind of annoying. Picking the power-ups up is a lot harder than it looks, because changing lanes can make a crash, so I'm just scared to change lanes. Yeah, kind of bad. Um, I really like the nighttime effect in this one, actually. Having a day-night feature on a game from two years to two thousand is quite, quite interesting. The lighting is already now. Street lamps and whatnot. I can't wait to show you some of the other areas, like the desert, the jungle, and the ice area. The ice gets really interesting. I can't remember if I ever completed the game, but I know ice area. Congratulations! You won these um, fabulous prizes. Okay. So oh. that's. That race not done, as you can see. Uh, I got a track piece. 
Ah, uh, no, my video stopped playing. This shows how much tired I'm going to be a bit behind you. This is where we look at who is competing in it. Okay, let's assume I was on the map screen. We got to the next race. This race on this rat screen here. Or, or I won't actually. Because I'm going to leave this video until the next part because it ran into 17 minutes. I was hoping to get it all in one part, but it didn't quite happen. So this is a cliffhanger. Come back for the next part. I hope to see you there. Bye.